Don't confuse this with that Bruce Willis actioneer. Red is a whole different movie. Brian Cox stars as a retired veteran who's enjoying some fishing with his favorite dog when a group of young punks come by and one of them kills his beloved pet. That starts our main character on a road to, let's just say justice, that ends in revenge in this movie is great. If you've ever doubted Brian Cox as an actor, watch Red and those doubts will just melt away. You see a man in pain. You see a man struggling for justice to hold back his instincts to just go for revenge. And then you see society fail him and that need for revenge becomes stronger. Cox runs the gambit of the emotions in this movie, but still trying to portray a character who is reserved and pulled into himself. I was riveted in a film that really is just this old man walking around town talking to people before the action ever kicks back off and folks, it hooks you. I really enjoyed Red because it was set in the real world. That meant the director shot this film to be a slice of American life. The actors did not overdo their parts, but brought realism, life into every single role. Even the guy who plays the punk, and that kid does a fantastic job, you hate him, but he's not an over-the-top exaggeration. Tom Sizemore plays the spoiled punk's father, and even he doesn't try and knock it out of the park, but give you a man who doesn't know what to do with his son. It's just a well-crafted drama that gut punches you and then tries to reach for your heart. The epic Brian Cox. Directors, writers, and a cast that truly give you the real life experience to a dark tale. That's what Red does and it does it well. If you're looking for a great drama, then look no further than Red.